what happened is Coach Herm was we were talking on the headphones, and we don't talk a lot on the headphones. But he got on there. We were going to talk about what type of approach we were going to do on that drive, and uh, so we were both going, "Oh no! Oh no! Oh, there you go! Oh, oh no!" It was one of those. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So you guys were talking as the pilot. Oh yeah, 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 yes, it was funny. It was really funny. I was like, well, I guess he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Mikhail admitted that he's had some issues with that. Like he then caught the one on the one yard line, fair catch. Yeah. So yeah. does that add to that just sort of unknown element of what's going to happen? Yeah, you know, uh, after the one at Washington and then the one against Colorado last year, if you guys remember that one, they got called back actually, but. Uh, Man, he's just a threat to just do that at any time. And I'll tell you, you know, right before his big catch, um, he got on the headphones with me and said, Coach, I'm telling you, just throw one up and I will catch it. I'm telling you, I promise you. I said, all right, man, it's coming then. So we, that's when we threw it. But he, he called it, called his shot. He told me he was going to do it. Did you I feel like they were daring you not playing the safeties over the top over yeah, the inside? Yeah, once they got in the middle of the third quarter and all that, they started bringing number 15 opposite the back, bringing them in, uh, free safety blitz, and, and they were just going to win or lose the game by that, you know, and um, you know, and it was working for a while, and we started seeing a few adjustments we could make in running the football. We had to start running things that hit a little faster than starting developing things in the backfield, like the counter power, stuff like that, so we kind of went with some more zone stuff. I heard after the game, you went up to Nikhil, and you were like, oh, you were going to do it. Is that what you were talking about? Is that catch? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Because he got on the headphones and told me. He said, throw it up, coach. I promise you I'll catch it. And I said, all right, it's coming this this series. So Has he ever done that before? Um, Frank has. Um, and I, yeah, funny. But, no, I do. I listen to him. You know, when they, when they make suggestions to me, um, I believe him. And, I, and we talk extensively and because I know him. And I coached him last year about – um, I gotta trust you. You can't get on the headphones and tell me some crazy stuff. I watch film and it's not true. Like I was open. Well, what does that mean? So, they're they're pretty trustworthy. And, and uh, so when they get on the headphones and tell me something's open and do it, I listen to them. What was that whole sequence like where Manny gets knocked out, Dylan goes in, and then Manny wow. comes back? And... Yeah, yeah. How about that throw, Dylan? Yeah. I don't know, man. That was as good a throw for a quarterback coming off the bench. That was absolutely gorgeous, man. So. Uh, you know, we just started, you know, as soon as I saw Manny get hit and he laid there for a little bit, just started, the wheels started turning, okay, what are we going to do, Dylan as the quarterback, um, you don't just want to throw the whole book at him, you know, and, and so I immediately got on the headphones with him, what do you like, what are you comfortable with, what's your favorite plays and things like that, and so I think it was a three, it was a three and out, I believe, so, we, you know, it didn't last very long, but. So we were going to just run him a little bit more because he's a big body and stuff like that. He started the game getting Manny out on the run, and then he ran quite a few more times, yes. more than he has all year. Is that That's right. part of the game plan just to get just to Yes, get it was, to do more, do more zone read. You know, um, and just quite honestly, you know, we're in, we're, what are we, in the se seventh game, right? Eighth, or game. Eighth, ga eighth game, right? So, you know, and, and you guys, if you remember Marcus Mariota back at Oregon, um, you know, they really didn't run him until it started getting to the end of the year because you try to protect him and, you, you know, when he's your guy. And so, but, I mean, we only got, what, how many games left? And so it, everything's open now. What about Eno's performance? Oh, man. That run he had on the minus three to get and carried, I don't know how many people he carried, for like seven yards. Yeah. That was amazing. That, he just runs so hard, and he has phenomenal balance. He is so hard to tackle, like the first guy hardly ever tackles. He is a great player. It seemed like Akil was targeted a lot more in the first quarter. Were you guys kind of planning on running anything to get him at all? Yeah, I mean, if you notice, we did a bunch of changes. <laughs> Um, just trying to uh, put him in places where he had a better chance to catch the ball. Um, you know, put him inside a lot, put him in the backfield, motioned him now, putting him at quarterback. Him too. You know, we got four games left, and I mean, everything's open, the whole offense to him. We're not going to worry about anything. You didn't score on the possession, but that Nikhil one handed catch. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Have you, I mean, how many times have you seen something like that from the sidelines? Well, I, I only saw it from, up, I haven't seen the replay. Oh, yeah, yet. from and up. I, and, and I'm get, getting all these texts from people going, that was one of the best catches I've ever seen, so I can't wait to see it. I have not seen it on a TV screen up close yet, so. Was it good? <laughs> Is it unbelievable? I heard it was one hand falling back. Yeah. Like levitating. Already, I'm like, yeah, already in the air. Yeah. Is that right? You want to see it? Yeah, heck yeah. Throw that thing up there.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. Holy smokes. Look at that. <laughs> that is one, that's one of the best catches I've ever seen. That's what people are saying. That's amazing. That's really amazing. The Hail Harry. Wow. So speak, speaking of like less spectacular uh, uh, pass plays, we yeah. saw Ralston involved, we saw Hudson Luke involved. Yes. Is it just a matter of them being in the offense for long enough to, to really start get them going? Yeah, you know, and we're just trying to keep people off balance. And, and it's a trust factor. They've been practicing great. Uh, Tommy, that was a huge first down, just keeping keeping the clock going. Um, and it's all the guys. We're just trying to spread the ball around. You saw Brandon Ayuk. I mean, finally saw his athletic ability when he hurt. Not that I like guys hurtling all the time, but just the, I mean, you saw that. That pop, popped out to me. Like, look at his athletic ability. I'm telling you, that guy next year is going to be a great player. I saw there were, like, one drive where you hit Frank on, like, three same, yeah. the, that same sideline play. Yes. Were you guys trying to, once one play worked, hey, let's go at it a few well, times? I was finally, finally, that in my mind is the RPO offense. You take what the defense gives you. Uh, we saw it, bang, 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 you know, and it's just started what the vision is, man, you know, and I was, I was just glad to see that. Just take what they give you. I um, mean, sometimes, I mean, if they press you, yeah, you're going to have to throw it deep and take some chances, but, man, if they're going to play off, then, you know, you got to take those underneath things. What about that drive where you converted three third downs, started inside your own ten, and go all the way down to the first half to score? I don't. I don't. I, I, which one? I don't. Which touchdown? I, I'll have to remember. I don't. I don't. Uh, how did the drive end? That which touchdown? Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, you know, oh, the long run. The long off run. Of the, but before yeah, that, I, Wilkins hurdled someone. Oh, you had yes, the Ayuk yes. catch, I believe. Yes. Or, yes. It was. Yeah. In, in all of the drives, you know, that I can remember when we moved the ball, it was great. Just kind of mixing it up, man. It was like. I don't want it, you know, I just never wanted to be a one or the other. You know, you want to be able to run the ball, then come out a quick game, then a bootleg, then a play action, and then an RPO, and then zone read. And, and that's kind of like what you want the offense to be. And, and it was it was clicking at times today. It was really good to see. Manny said he 